One of the more fascinating elements of today's modern day cyber attacks is the ability for the perpetrators to masquerade themselves as uh, legitimate users at a very deep level. Of course, DDoS attacks have always had an element of uh, a legitimate request coming in and that overwhelming a system. However, today's modern day cyber attacks will extend that problem even further. Uh, an old rate-based technology, uh, something that's being called first-generation DDoS protections, is no longer adequate to be able to protect this new advanced legitimacy masquerading techniques. So let's give you some examples of, of these things. That in the, in the masquerading elements, what you have are today attacks that are being born from trusted sources. So you may be a company that is, for example, using a legitimate application on a hosting, a cloud company such as, let's say, for example, Amazon. Whereas an attack may originate from those source IPs and the rates may be uh, adequate or essentially look legitimate to be able to attack you. In addition, there are many types of rates that may spike that actually may be legitimate for you. So you have a compounding problem in that rate spiking or what we call authentic flash crowd situations are a good news situation. There, most recently there's some great examples of legitimate flash crowds. When the Pope was recently uh, handed on over to a new Pope, there was a period of time from the white smoke which says we've, we've uh, announced a new Pope to the actual announcement, there was a period of hours there. The websites of the Vatican got overwhelmed with people looking for the new Pope. This was all legitimate traffic. So in old first generation protection technologies, they used two major tools to protect you. Rate based information and IP blocking, source IP blocking. The bad guys have now masqueraded themselves that they can obfuscate themselves in rates and they can obfuscate the source IP. So modern day solutions will have to consider things such, such as blocking other than source IP, blocking other than destination IP, and blocking other than rate. Why? Because IP blocking and rate blocking are essentially blunt instruments. They will not distinguish the difference between a legitimate user and an illegitimate user. By definition, once you use those tools, you are succumbing to the fact that you are going to block and, and, and block legitimate traffic. So you're going to be taking legitimate customers off of your website with those instruments.